Babs Holder, welcome to Full Court Football 24. We're in Carshalton Athletic today. With me, I've got none other than Dawkins Wanderers star, Sam Beard. Sam, great to get you on the channel, mate. How are you? Yeah, great. Thank you, mate. All good. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Before we go on to this season yourself and how you've been performing, let's talk a little bit about your, your past career in football and how you got started, mate. Yeah, so I've been playing football since I was a little boy. I was at Brighton for four years, from 12 to age of 16. And then didn't get a scholarship there. And ever since then, just been playing non-league football, fully grown men. So, but yeah, it's been enjoyable. Good career so far. As we mentioned, it must have been very disappointing for yourself not to get that deal at Brighton. How did you pick yourself up, if you like, to get yourself motivated to, to carry on playing and kick on? Yeah, it was very hard, obviously, being so young, 16, getting told you're getting released after being somewhere for four years. It's not nice, but... With my family, my dad, he's so supportive, just whatever I wanted to do, he was stuck by it. So obviously he, he knows what to do. He helped me out massively, telling me to go play non-league, stuff like that. But yeah, just got to pick yourself up and go again, really. How was the, the transition, if you like, from academy football, very technical, um, playing on the best 3G pitches and stuff, to then playing non-league, as you said, playing against big, big men week in, week out? Yeah, so different from... 16 playing like nearly training every day nice pitches quality players the coaching is so much different as well but yeah then you go into men's football and it's a completely different game just physical pitches are all full long ball you get roughed up but that's it's part of football it builds your character so people who are like 16 now getting released if they go play 23s by the time they're 22 or whatever if they're going to play men's football then they're it's different for them they're 22 of no experience, but yeah, it's good. Toughened me up, built me up, so yeah, it's good. Fast forward to this season, absolutely firing for Dorking Wanderers. Massive season for yourself. Can you explain to me how this season's gone in your own words? Yeah, it's been a great season. So I've been our second season in the Bostick Prem. Uh, last year, we've finished just below mid-table, I think. But a few signings this year, and we've been up there 22 points. We won it by, I think it was, our goal difference. I think we had 10 clean sheets in a row last 10 games. But yeah, it's been a great season. And then hopefully, same again next season. You've been on absolute blistering form for them this season. What what awards did you win from the from the team and the fans? I won four awards at the end. Committee, young player, players, young player, uh, fans, young player, and managers, young player. So I won a bad season, to be fair. Fantastic team there, as you mentioned, fantastic funds and a chairman that believes in the club and the project. So it must be a really good thing to be involved in. Oh, yeah, 100%. It's a club going places. I wouldn't be surprised in the Football League in the next five years. Two more promotions and they're there. He's made another sign today, Jake Gallagher from Aldershot. So that's our first signing for next year. But he's probably going to get a few more in, definitely going to go for it again. Learning your trade at this level, do you feel that your development, again, will be suited, best suited for going up the leagues if and when the opportunity arises? Yeah, every time we step up, it's obviously a harder league. So we, us, when I was at Dorking, we started in uh, Ryman South and then I signed from Loxford, so that's one step up. And then that Ryman South is completely def different level to the one I was at. And then you step up again, Bostick Prem, that's a lot harder as well. So I'm guessing I haven't played Conference South yet, but go up again it's going to be completely different again so you just got to keep learning keep digging at it and then hopefully something will come off in the end you seem like you're really enjoying your football at the moment do you think that's a key to your form this season the fact you've been happy you've been plying your trade on in a place that really that really wants you yeah definitely I think once you're at a club where you enjoy it and then you feel wanted you can just relax a bit more and play football you just like take your mind off things and your performance just improves when you're relaxed, just being yourself, so it's good. Good having a manager that believes in you and teams that believe in you and having good players around you. As you know, this time of year, teams are making new signings. Academy kids are being released. Academy kids are being signed. What advice would you give to, to an academy kid that maybe didn't make the grade at the moment or has just been, had the displeasure of being released from their club? What, what would you say to them, sir? Well, when some kids, when they get released, they think, oh, I've got to go get a pro team, pro team this, because it just looks good on them. But dropping down to non-league, it's not even a bad thing anymore. The standard, some of the standard here, like 
they'll play against 23s and they'll still manage to beat them. But yeah, definitely just keep playing football. Don't quit. If you drop down a few levels, it don't matter. Still keep playing. Just keep work your way back up like I have. Goals and aspirations for next season? What, anything personally you want to uh, achieve? Just keep performing well. Just hopefully we can have another good season where we're maybe challenging for playoffs or another promotion. That's that's what he wants to do. That's what we want to do. So we just keep trying that. We've had good season of clean sheets and performing well. So playing at the back, I think we've had over 20 clean sheets this year, Absolutely. which is a lot. So yeah, just keep performing well. That's it really. And then hopefully, if we get promoted again, it'll be full time football. Well, we wish Dawkins Wanderers the best of luck next season, uh, unless they're playing against Carshalton Athletic. <laughs> Thank you very much to Carshalton again for having us down. And I said it's great to get you on the channel, Sam. And we look forward to following your career from here on in. Thank you, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Young player of the year. He's had a fantastic season. I think. I think you'll find in the next twelve months he'll go to full time football. Um, but Young Player of the Year voted by you, Sam Beard! Yeah!